But let me encourage you to do this. Be like the person who I just got an email from not too long ago. And if you know anything about this coronavirus, if you know anything about the COVID-19 scourge, the pestilence that has been upon our world, upon America, you'll know that this is a timely email that came through actually just a week or so before all of this illness and sickness really blew up and took the world by storm. Here's an email that we got. And God only knows what the effect that this man is having. Here's what he says. How did you hear about us? He says, dear brother, we heard about you through your website. Praise God for a website. He says, we would like to distribute your tracks in the New York City subways. We are already in that work, but we'd like to use your tracks if possible. We need more tools for that work, please send some to the above address. Now, I'd like you to think about that for just a moment. Of course, you know that New York and New York City is one of the hardest hit areas with all of this uh, coronavirus and all these things. And Lord willing, this is a pre-recorded program. My prayer, my hope is that by the time you hear this, that these things begin to die down and the news media, it, it almost leaves the airwaves because it becomes such an afterthought. I don't know what it will be like when you listen to this broadcast in your seat, in your car, at your work, through your headphones, however you happen to listen. My prayer is that this coronavirus is really done and gone away with. Maybe a vaccine is created. I don't know. But can I tell you that this man who sent us an email, I can actually tell you exactly when. It was the beginning of March, the very beginning of March, before this thing really, really took off. He told me, sent an email. It crossed my desk in early March. He may have sent it in late February. Let me know that he's giving out tracks in the New York City subway. Who knows what God has done through this man, his name is John, who knows what God has done through this man and his work on behalf of the gospel. And now he has in his hand tracks just like this, coronavirus, COVID-19 tracks that ask, what do I do? That's the question on everyone's mind. On the reverse side of the track that I have in my hand, it talks about the Bible way to overcome fear. You can order your own of these tracks at BibleTracksInc.org. I encourage you on this Tuesday, be like this man, John. Look for opportunities to take gospel tools, gospel tracks. Whether you use our products or someone else's, just make sure they are doctrinally correct. Of course, ours are very, very, uh, we're very concerned about that issue for our, for our tracks. But let me encourage you to take some tracks and leave them. Leave them in a waiting room at a doctor's office. Leave them on the counter. Ask permission of some essential business owners, maybe a gas station, a grocery store. Ask a cashier, hey, would you mind if I leave you just two or three of these for you and your friends? Would you mind if I gave you these to read when you have a chance for a break? You would be amazed at the openness that people have to the gospel. Of course, the picture, the brightly colored picture uh, of the virus cell, or the coronavirus cell, everyone knows what that picture looks like. It's captured everyone's imaginations, unfortunately, everyone's nightmares in some ways. And the opportunity to use a timely gospel tract for God's glory is maybe ne like never before. Let me encourage you, if you would, to order some today. You can also order a sample packet of all of our tracks, one each of all of our tracks from our website as well.